This is not the biggest moment of my career. I fought in front of 30,000 plus, both Olympics. <laughs> And you talk about looking at the crowd and seeing all these people either rooting for you or rooting against you. And in your mind, you think it to yourself, I don't give who rooting against me or, or, or who rooting for me. I'm here to kick some ass. You know, just to have that kind of mindset to me, that's where the greatest woman of all time comes in. I've followed boxing and I've looked at these women boxers and it's not a woman who I can tell you who I, who I think can match me. You know, out of all the great women that there were, they can't match me. And Christina Hammer, crazy as hell, if she thinks she can match me. She crazy. Come April 13th, thousands will be present at Boardwalk Hall to witness two warriors make history. But for now, solitude. Hundreds of miles away and thousands of feet up, it is here Clarissa Shields and Christina Hammer will ready themselves for the task ahead. Training camp, focus is mandatory. Faith in the process and those trusted few around them is vital, as they'll need to build themselves up before they can come back down. This is All Access, Shields versus Hammer. Well, I start off by saying good morning, okay? Um, but I have all my alarms set on my phone throughout the day, so I wake up at 8.30, I'm out to bed, maybe I'll snooze it one time, I get up by nine, have my boiled eggs on, make my smoothie, and then by 10 o'clock, I'm getting ready to go to the gym. Doritos, the only snack I have in the house. Literally, like, I bought those Doritos at the beginning of the camp, and I tell myself, once they're done, you have no more snacks in the house. Oh. Yep. And yes, I am going to drink all of it. Mmm. Colorado Springs at the Olympic Training Center. To me, this is like War City. This is where I got prepared for both my Olympics, and I know that I have Coach K, Coach Jose. I know that they're gonna whip me into shape. This camp, I'm really pushing myself to the max to make sure I'm not gonna have any excuses come April 13th. I wanna make sure that I can go in there and give 300%. Everybody wanna be a champion, or nobody wanna work for nothing. You can't be like me if you don't work. Hammer out there, snowboarding. What is that gonna do? Nothing. This is real work. Championship work. Undisputed work. Ah. Ah. I'm not worried about being a hammer. I could be hammer if I was sick. She's weak-minded. Pitiful. I'm a beater, I'm a dominator, and hopefully I knock her the f out. I don't think people understand, like, I want to destroy her. That's what it is. And I want to destroy her bad. <laughs> when I train, I have only one goal and one vision, and that's the undisputed champion. We go up to the mountains and train three times a day, and it's very, very tough. <laughs> With Christina, we feel the same, we think the same, because we know what we want and we know what, what we were fighting for and what we were working for. 100% concentration. Check. 
Check bam back. Yeah. Plotik für sich war der Schleck. I think it was in a tournament when I met Dimitri. I have only 10 amateur fights. Uh, we train a long time together and he's the best supporter for me. He's always believes in me. When he's on my side, I can do it. Uh, Dimitri, he knows everything. He shows me it's step by step. We have to make small pieces to get one big piece. Every day he has a new idea and he tried to push myself. To push her, yeah? To bring her forward, to give everything you have. Yeah, because your opponent isn't sleeping. When you are sleeping, he is training. Treffen him. I'm like shields. When I turned professional, I did my homework. I have been new about Christina Hammer, but I got a message from her manager asking me to come fight her at the age of 17 after winning the Olympics. I wasn't even a pro yet, and you want me to come over there and fight this world champion 10 rounds in the most I ever fought is four rounds. She wanted to take advantage of me, but guess what? She couldn't. I went and won the Olympics again, turned professional. She's still around. She was on my hit list from the day I turned professional. I have to say uh, 2018 was a very hard year for me. I got a problem with my health and that pushed me back. It was very sad for me that we have to cancel this fight, but I know I'm getting stronger. People don't know the behind the scenes. I could have been for Christina Hammer. In June when I fought against Hannah Gabriels, they offered me that fight to fight against Hammer. Me and my team was ready to do it. Hammer was like, no, she wants to fight down the line. And then October, she said she needed more time. Then November, she said she hurt her hand. Then all of a sudden, as soon as it, we announced the fight, she said her hand is good, now she's sick. And it's like, okay, so when do you want to fight? Yeah. Training camp with Clarissa has been great. You know, I don't, I don't want to teach her how to really fight because she knows how to fight. My job is to make her become a better fighter. And with this fight here with Christina Hammer, Hammer's going to move a lot. I don't care what she says. She's talking about she's going to fight, but she's going to move. That's her style. This is about the bad, the bad bitch round. That's it. Hey. Hey. Listen, we cutting off the ring, Miss Mover. You feel what I'm saying? We, we, we doubling and tripling up our jab because we know she's going to be running all night. And I'm working hard on making sure that my right hand and my hook is pinpoint so when it lands, her ass goes down. You know, she doesn't care. You know, I'm going to keep it clean. When the bell ring, somebody's getting hurt. She'll have some pride maybe the first two or three rounds, but after that, I'm going to take her heart right out of her chest and hand it right to her. I think Shields has to be careful, yeah? Of course, she's good, yeah? She's working a lot, but in my meaning, she has not so much power as Christina has, yeah? She's working a lot, she's going forward, make some punches, but I saw the fight against Gabriel, yeah? She get a knockdown, yeah? And I think Christina is punching harder than Gabriel. That's when she get a hard punch, she will get down and she will don't come up. They're over there having conversation about how to beat me. It won't be the first time somebody had a conversation about how to beat me. And every conversation leads to the same thing. They lose. Her jab is the only good punch she has. Everything else. Here it is. <laughs> Look at these. Yeah, it's black and gold because it's a special fight for me. Undisputed champion and it's my time to shine with the Lady Hammer on it. Yeah. <laughs> you can see me in the ring. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I like it. Let's go. How do you feel, Christina? The light's coming like... Yeah. After four weeks locked away in camp, any reprieve, Big or small, is always welcome. Perfect. She can have one cheat day, right? One cheat day. Come on. Come on. 
What? <laughs> no, I don't trust people. <laughs> what? We know it's been a real special week for you. What you mean special week? So we thought we'd end it with a celebration. <laughs> can't even we eat gonna, it. We gonna have one cheat day. One cheat day. Cheat if you're shit. gonna have one cheat day, it's gotta be your birthday. So just look, have a seat. Oh and we all gonna sing happy birthday to you. Special day for this a special person. This cake is person. cute though. I know. <laughs> I know. Thank you. All right, so yeah, like I said, special day, special person. She worked hard on her birthday, birthday week, dedicated. That's why she the quote. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Larissa. Happy birthday to you. With the fight just weeks away, training camp is finally winding down, and it's time to start thinking about what awaits both fighters in Atlantic City. Hopefully she training, because I'm expecting a hard fight. And I don't want her running, and I don't want her having no excuses. For me, it means everything. I train hard for this. I sacrifice everything. You know, when she signed that contract, she wrote a check her ass can't cash. And it's going to bounce April 13th. For a boxer to be truly legendary, to carve his or her name in the history books for all time, one needs a worthy adversary. And clearly, these two fighters need one another to be in peak condition on April 13th. I want all of these belts. Yes, it's a fight for all four belts. An oh-so-rare unification battle between the two best women in the division. I'll be the seventh person to be undisputed, and the second woman. But clearly, it's about more than this. For all the great female fighters of the past who toiled in relative obscurity, the time has finally come. For Clarissa and Christina, they feel this undeniable fact with each step they take. This is the biggest fight. With every punch they throw. Because boxing is all about living up to the moment. And the moment is indeed here and now. Because when Clarissa Shields and Christina Hammer step into that ring, don't get it twisted. They will be truly great. On fight night, I'm in a war. It's gonna be a war. So take notice. The revolution is now. No more waiting. On April 13th, the game will change, and boxing history will be made. Be ready, ballerina. I'm about to chase your ass all over that ring April 13th. And want to destroy you. It's only one greatest woman of all time, and that's me.